Hello beautiful people! Welcome back to my channel, thank you so much for being here and if you are new, what is up? My name is Ling and thank you so much for clicking onto my video and for being here as well. So in today's video, I'm going to talk to you guys about how to fade hyperpigmentation. Now just a little side note, I just want to let you guys know that at the end of this video, I have a really big announcement to make and yeah, I mean, oh god. It's a big announcement but it's like good news and I really do hope that you stay tuned till the end to watch it. So yeah, just a little side note. So back to the video, I'm going to tell you guys how to really get rid of hyperpigmentation and talk to you guys about how it all starts off as in like the hyperpigmentation, like how do you get brown spots, how do you get these patches of like discoloration on your skin. What is hyperpigmentation slash brown spots? So the main cause of hyperpigmentation is the sun. You you can get it on your face, your chest, your hands, and hyperpigmentation generally looks like dark spots or patches of discoloration on your skin. Anybody could have hyperpigmentation, whether you have sensitive skin or oily skin or normal skin, anyone could have it. Other terminologies of hyperpigmentation is usually dark spots, brown spots, age spots, or sunspots. When you're pregnant, you generally do have hyperpigmentation because of the increase of your hormone level. So I would do another video on skincare products for pregnant women because I feel like there's a lot of skincare products out there that are suitable for pregnant women and that are not suitable. So that would be like a complete different topic. I would do much more research and I would talk to doctors and I would talk to women in my family who has had babies and ask them about what happened to their skin because I know a lot of women, they generally get either hairier or they lose hair or their skin gets more sensitive to the sun. So that is hyperpigmentation. It's generally called because of the sun. Now, the hyperpigmentation that I had was post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. And that basically means that once I got my acne and I got rid of it, I was left with these brown spots and that is post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So there is a difference between hyperpigmentation and acne scars. I used to think they were the same thing things. It's not really the same things. I mean, you can call post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation an acne scar, but it's not classified that in the world of skincare and if you go see a dermatologist or an esthetician. So the difference between hyperpigmentation and acne scars is that acne scars is usually dense within the skin. So say for example, you picked a spot and you kept picking it and picking it and picking it and as soon as the spot goes away, there is left with a little bit of a hyperpigmentation and a dense with Within the skin. So that is acne scars. Now acne scars, it's very hard to get rid of acne scars. It's years and years of facials, for me in my own experience anyway, and I know a lot of people with severe acne scars, they would have to go in and get lots of facials done. So I'll definitely do a video on how to get rid of acne scars. But good thing with hyperpigmentation is that you can actually fade it with products at home. So unfortunately with acne scars, you can't fade them at home. You do have to go in for professional facials. Again, I'll do a separate video on that and yeah. Just a little warning for people who has hyperpigmentation and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. If you feel like the brown spot is like changing colors or if it's getting itchy or if it's bleeding or if it's like changing shape, definitely consult in a doctor because it could be something very, very serious. So as soon as you see something wrong with your skin, please just go to a doctor and yeah, hopefully it's nothing serious, but it's just good to be cautious about your health and sometimes the outside of your body can show you what's wrong with the inside of your body. So always take care of your health. Okay, so now that we've spoken about hyperpigmentation and what it is and the differences between hyperpigmentation and acne, let's talk about how to really get rid of those brown spots. Now, if you have hyperpigmentation because of the sun, or if you have post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation because of acne, you can still use the same product, which is really, really good, because that means whatever products that I'm going to show you guys, if you have hyperpigmentation because of the sun, these products will still work for you. So I have post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation and a few products that really stood out to me, that really helped me throughout the years. Now, I didn't just use these products like once or twice and that's it, it changed my life. I had to stick to using these products for a really long time. So the 
products that I want to talk to you guys about first is cleansing pads and my favourite cleansing pads are the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads and the Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix Night Pads. This is the extreme version so this is quite high in glycolic. They both have different ingredients in there but it's very similar in terms of how they work. They still help fade brown spot, they still help resurface the skin as well and this is really good for people who has active acne because it helps exfoliate and decongest the skin. So the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads it helps brighten the skin and there's lactic acid in it as well and lactic acid helps smooth the skin and it reduces acne and it helps improve uneven skin tone as well. You do have to be careful when it comes to using products like these especially the has glycolic, lactic because it makes your skin sensitive to the sun and I'm going to talk about sunscreen later on in the video. The Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix Night Pads it helps stimulate new collagen and it also helps exfoliate the skin as well. So not only are you like fading the dark spots on your skin you are also renewing your skin as well which is why I love these products so much and it's the type of products that I have to use in a daily basis like when I go traveling I have to have these in my skincare routine. This product also helps reduce oil production on your skin as well so if you have oily combination skin definitely check this out. I love these two products. Out of all the exfoliating glycolic AHA pads out there these two stood out to me the most and it's one of those products that I would definitely buy again and use again. You also want to have products that has AHA and BHA and what they do is that they help smooth out skin, decongest the skin and it also helps fade brown spots on your skin as well which is so good and one of my favourite products is the Drunk Elephant TLC Brown Boss Glycolic Night Serum. I definitely feel like when it comes to nighttime skincare routine that is when you really want to like deep clean the skin especially when you have like congested skin or acne or if you have a lot of hyperpigmentation that is the time to really stock up and layer on these type of products on top of each other because it's going to help really resurface and make your skin really nice and glowy as well. There are so many products out there with AHA and BHA so I do recommend doing as much research as you can with all of the products and go into store and check it out. Feel it in your hands, see if you like the texture, see if it's something that you would want to put on your skin and always check the store policy as well just in case if you don't like the products or if you're allergic to a product because there's been times in the past where I do buy something that has retinol, AHA or BHA and I put it on my skin and I have a major reaction and then when I use another product from another brand that has AHA and BHA my skin turns out to look so nice and clear. So it just really depends on the brand and what they put in their product so always always be cautious and yeah make sure you keep that receipt girl that way you can definitely get your money back if anything happens to your skin. So this ingredient I am so excited to talk to you guys about because it has definitely changed my skin completely and oh it's just so good to finally know what works for my skin. So what I'm talking about is vitamin C. Now before I talk about vitamin C if you have active acne do not use vitamin C because vitamin C is an acid and it's very powerful and it will aggravate the skin more meaning it will cause more acne for you. Now what I mean by active acne is that if your acne is sore if it's like pussy or if it's like inflamed and you know that's like active acne that's what it means. So do not use vitamin C until your acne is completely gone. So like I said vitamin C is a very powerful acid and one of my favorite serums now serums are so important when it comes to fading hyperpigmentation because it penetrates deeper into the skin so definitely look into serums as well as creams that has vitamin C, AHA and all that good stuff. So my favorite serum of all time is this. I spoke about this in my previous skincare video which if you haven't seen I'll leave a link up here. I love this product so much. I've been using it for the past year and it's definitely changed my skin. I have so many good experiences with this product and you know it was so expensive but it was definitely worth it and I would definitely buy this again and again and again and it's something that I need in my life now. Whenever I travel this is coming with me. If it breaks I will have a tantrum. That is how clingy and in love I am with this product. Now it doesn't look like it would do much because it's in a clear bottle and you know when I first used it I was like oh my god this feels like water. It feels like it's not going to do anything for my skin. But after three months of using it. Now three months is a long time okay but you got to be patient when it comes to fade and brown spots and hyperpigmentation. After using this for three months my skin started to look brighter and it started to look clearer and the reason why is because it's got active C in it. It also has white birch in it as well and white birch basically helps hydrate the skin and it hydrates it in a way where it doesn't feel oily. It just feels like your skin has been drinking loads of water when secretly 
have it been drinking loads of water so this is how smart this product is it's a very strong product it's so expensive but it's definitely so worth the money i definitely recommend and go into the store and get the smaller version this is the big mama version they do have a smaller version and you do have to be patient when you use this product i remember i had a spot underneath my skin literally right here underneath my skin and i didn't pop it or anything i just you know put ice pack on it to help reduce the swelling and then when the spot faded i had like a massive brown spot on my eyebrow literally and i was just like oh my god this better work and then within like a month and a half it faded and now it's completely gone and you guys can see like i have like no makeup on apart from eyebrows and this is how it looks okay so then the next thing that i want to talk to you guys about that will help prevent you from getting hyperpigmentation is sunscreen i am so obsessed with sunscreen and i freak out when i don't wear sunscreen like if i walk out of the house and i forgot to put sunscreen on i will go back into the house and put sunscreen on and walk out and yeah that's how committed i am with sunscreen because i definitely notice a difference within my skin i never used to wear sunscreen up until i was the age of 23 i think i'm 24 now because i've been wearing sunscreen for a whole year i've definitely noticed that my skin doesn't have that much brown spots from the sun so my favorite spf is from la roche posay now if you wear makeup and you forget to put sunscreen on do not panic there is a spray version okay guys i love la roche posay for doing this and this is spf 50 i feel like if you are very easily prone to getting brown spots from the sun or from acne then definitely get very high SPF. If you feel like your skin doesn't get that much brown spots, then definitely go down to probably SPF 30. Tarte does a really good sunscreen as well, and it's really lightweight, and it doesn't like feel greasy or anything. But if you're prone to getting dark spots, then definitely go for SPF 50. I love the La Roche-Posay pocket one. This is so cute, and this has lasted me for a really long time. You only need a little bit, because it's such a creamy, liquidy sunscreen. And always shake it as well, that way all the ingredients are mixing together, and yeah, sunscreen guys is going to be your best friend and the younger you are please start wearing sunscreen so that when you get older your skin oh my god you will thank yourself later in the future if you do start using these type of products in your skincare routine right now especially when you're young so that is the end of the video guys i really hope oh god so that is the end of the video guys i really hope you found this very helpful and if you have any questions please let me know down in the comment section and i'll try my best to reply back to you as soon as possible if you're watching this video in the future and you do want to get a hold of me just message me on Instagram or on Twitter and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. So let's talk about what I wanted to talk to you about. The other day I was on my emails, I was doing admin work and next thing you know I got this email in and I was just like, what the hell is this? Thanks to you guys, I can't believe I'm saying this but I got nominated for the Shorty Awards in the beauty category and I couldn't believe it because it's just it's just such a huge accomplishment just to be nominated like I don't care about getting that trophy it's just the thought that you guys put my name forward it, it just means a lot to me and it's just crazy I just didn't think people even like oh I don't want to sound like I'm complaining when I say this okay do you know what no Okay, I need to make sense here because I'm not making any sense right now. I have been struggling the past year and a half mentally trying to adjust to the fact that the algorithm has messed me over on Instagram and on YouTube as well. And it's just, it's really disheartening because I spend so many hours and so much time in working on my content and I even hired an editor, which I pay out of my own money to help produce more content. And I'm not asking for you guys to like feel bad for me and I'm not trying to say that I'm complaining. I'm not complaining. It's just that I love what I do so much that I'm willing to go the extra mile. And it's so scary to me because I feel like when I don't post, I feel like I'm losing people. Like, that's how I feel. And I was watching Tati's video the other week and it really hit me hard because it's so relatable when she said that she doesn't want to lose the people that follows her on YouTube and on Instagram and that's how I feel as well. Sometimes because I produce Instagram and YouTube content, it's really hard. Like I don't just post pictures on Instagram, I post videos on Instagram and it can take me up to six hours just to make that one video. So it does take a lot of my time when it comes to creating content, but I love what I do and I'm not complaining or anything. I don't want you guys to think of me like that. It's just that because of the algorithm, because it messed me over so much, it just, kind of demotivates me to go the extra mile but if I don't go the extra mile there's a chance I could lose you guys and I don't want to 
I don't want to think like that, I don't want to feel like that, but it's just that fear. And I guess that fear shows that I'm really passionate about what I do. I just want to let you guys know that I am just so grateful and I'm just so thankful that you put me forward for the Shorty Awards, like for the beauty category as well. The beauty category, like, oh my God, like that is something. I could, I just, I just, oh, like I love beauty and I love makeup so, so much. And I don't know, I just didn't know people would think of me and nominate me and put me forward. I just didn't think that would happen. Like, I don't know how this all happened. But yeah, I just want to say thank you so much and you know, if you do want to vote for me I will leave a link in the comment section and I will pin it. You don't have to if you don't want to It's totally up to you I just want to let you guys know that there's no hard feelings if you don't vote for me Because there are a lot of amazing people in that category and they also deserve so much votes because I've watched Majority of them and they all work really really hard and I actually know one of them personally and That's Lewis and I love him to pieces. I freaking love him like I'm voting for him because I want him to win and it's just yeah it's just so crazy I can't adjust to it I can't stop thinking about it and the fact that it's held in New York as well which is like one of my favorite cities I can't wait to go I'm gonna go there with my boyfriend and we're just gonna take a vacation out there and yeah I mean I just want to let you guys know that I am so grateful and to receive that email it kind of like mentally saved me because like I said the past year and a half I've just been struggling mentally trying to like keep up with the work and keep up with Instagram and YouTube trends and everything and it's so hard when you're just one person and receiving that email definitely did remind me that people do see my work people do watch my stuff people do like what I do not everyone does and I'm okay with that but I just want to let you guys know you have no idea how much you saved me <laughs> oh I don't want to cry okay I'm not crying no I'm not crying but yeah I oh god so that is the end of my video thank you so much for sticking to the end to hear what I got to say I upload a video every Wednesday and Sunday so make sure you subscribe and hit that bell button as well if you want to see my future content if there's any videos that you want to see from me please let me know and yeah I'll put it on my list and I will you know, take it off as I go along. <laughs> Today's shout out goes to Monk Makeup. Thank you so much for tagging me in your pictures. I am loving this look. Oh my God, this look is so beautiful. I love it. Guys, please make sure you follow her, spam her, tell her that I sent you. And yeah, it would just mean a lot to me if you support her. And she does a lot of content as well, guys. Yeah, so definitely follow her. And she also does YouTube, so make sure you subscribe to her as well. If you guys want to shout out in my next video, all you got to do is just follow me on Instagram and tag me and you could be in the next video and you could be mentioned why did i do that i don't know that's really cheesy anyway thank you so much for watching me Mwah. bye guys